my name is Kushi Kishore and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video was not planned, but I woke up this morning, yeah, and I was very excited, not only by the book, but just my life at the moment. Let me explain. Today morning, I realized that I have been having the best anime month I have had in ages. Like, I have been absolutely loving the stuff I've been watching, like top quality material. And I ju it just made me very happy and made me very positive and upbeat. Another thing is I think later on today, I might be trying sushi for the first time with my friend. And while this makes me very nervous because I'm not a big fish eater, especially if it's not fried to an inch of its life, I'm still excited. Like, I'm willing to try and I am excited to see how I respond to it, I guess. And finally, it's the fact that this book I'm currently reading, I have already started it, I'm like 150 something pages in, is the final book for my Asian readathon, and it's just giving me such fantastical, magical, beautiful vibes. It's so tender, so gripping, and it talks about such important things. I'm just having a very, very good time, and I decided I'm gonna pick up the camera and take you guys along with me because I'm feeling good, and isn't that the whole point of life and this channel? To just share with you when I'm feeling good? So in this vlog, apart from all the other stuff that I'm gonna be talking about and trying out for the first time, I am gonna be reading Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Sujimura. So since I've already started this book, I might as well give you the first update, which is the fact that I am definitely, definitely enjoying this book. Let me just say though, I read the synopsis and I went into the book and the synopsis isn't wrong at all, but it definitely does not prepare you for what's coming up. It does not give away much and doesn't tell you the main focus points of this book, which I really love because it came as a surprise to me. If you do not know what this story is about, it's technically, we have these seven kids who live in Japan, in Tokyo, and one day, all of a sudden, the mirrors in their bedroom start glowing. And when they go close to these mirrors and touch these mirrors, they get sucked through the mirror and sent to this big, grand, beautiful castle, possibly in a different world. Once they all arrive there for the first time, they get told the rules of this game. Within this castle, there is a key. If a person finds this key and the room that this key is supposed to open, then they will be granted a wish, any wish. But the best part about this book is that it focuses on more than just the game aspect of all of that. It focuses on friendship and what loneliness feels like at that particular age and how difficult school can be. A warning for anyone who is planning to read this book is this book definitely does focus a lot on bullying and what the after effects of bullying can be for a person. Like what having endured bullying does to you. I was not expecting that to be such a big focus in this book, so I definitely was taken by surprise. And I just wanted to let you know. It's not a bad thing though, because I haven't read something like this before. And I'm just really glad to be reading it because this is definitely something that needs to be talked about more. To wrap up my update is 150 something pages in and I am definitely loving it and very curious to see where the story takes these kids and what happens next. So I'm just gonna go back to my reading now. expected it to be not this and that's good mm -hmm. very good is she vegetarian yeah 
see weed. Weed is a plant. Who decided to just wrap fish in rice one day? I think now is the best time to bring it up and I just want to quickly talk about my anime journey just because it is something that has been making me very happy recently as I told you. I started watching anime properly last year when my partner forced me to sit down and watch a show he really likes and the show is called Berserk and if you've watched it you know how intense of an anime it is to be starting out on but I have no regrets because it's the anime that got me hooked. I, I loved it. Berserk was so good. It's basically about this angry man with his giant ass sword that just seems to be growing every single season. <laughs> and it's like a fantasy mix and it has one of the best villains I have ever seen in a story. I just love it so much. After Berserk, I watched Hunter x Hunter and after I finished all six arcs of Hunter x Hunter, I just knew that I couldn't look away from this section of entertainment anymore. I knew that I had to find more animes that I would love as much as I love these two. Guys, if you haven't watched Hunter x Hunter and you love anime, you need to. It was so good so good just insanely good and it has some really good characters as well and some of the arcs are just oh double chef's kiss some of my favorites off the top of my head after hunter x hunter and berserk were jujutsu kaisen attack on titan fruits basket which is a romance anime so good kamisama hajime mashita which is another romance anime which is also so good because the male lead in Kamisama Kiss is such a diva. I love it. I love that representation. Oh, he's so good. And Maid Sama, classic, classic. The story of Maid Sama is very funny because the class president works in a role playing cafe. They dress up as maids and the cool guy, he catches her, like he walks into the store and he sees her. Then it's just like, a, will he keep my secret? Or is he gonna expose me to the rest of the school? Uh, it's just so funny. It's like pure comedy. And the anime I am watching now that is so insanely good is Kuroko no Basket. So it's about basketball and it's about like these bunch of kids who were really really good at basketball and then they all sort of went to different high schools and now they're in a stage where they're gonna have to start competing with each other and the main character he's not necessarily a normal basketball player but i just <laughs> i love it i love it so much it's such a good anime when you s <laughs> I am holding myself back from giving you spoilers right now. But anyway, I am gonna once in a while update you on my anime life now onwards just because it's something that brings me joy and I would want to connect with people with that as well. If you love anime or if there's an anime you've really been liking and want to recommend to me, then just comment down below or find my instagram down below and send me a message and we can talk about it any day anytime <laughs> anyway back to reading now a quick check-in i'm currently on page 197 of this book and i just have to say i'm having such a good time especially this last chapter has been so beautiful and so good and so like i have been waiting for these things to happen since the very beginning of this book and I just feel so satisfied and happy and warm like my eyes genuinely welled up while reading some of these lines because like I'm just so happy for these characters and the fact that these kids have found something that each of them have been looking for for a long time now and it's just so sweet and makes me reflect on my own school experiences and just 
gives me all the feels. But I'm scared. I do not want to know what the big conflict is. <laughs> I do, but I don't. I just, I don't want anything to happen to these kids. Ugh. Like, this is real, even though the characters are not. These feelings, these discussions, these problems are very real. Just, ugh. So happy. I finished Lonely Castle in the Mirror. And then I stared at my ceiling for like half an hour. And then I went to sleep. And here we are in the next day. How am I feeling? Like I want to stare at the ceiling for another 30 minutes. Oh my god, you guys. What is this book? I... How did she do it? How? How? How did... How did Mizuki Sujimura do this? Why did she do this to me? Why? I think we have another five stars here. Okay, I'm gonna keep this wrap up quick and short and sweet. I finished Lonely Castle in the Mirror and I have given it five stars. I really, really, really enjoyed this book and the themes it explores. I'm very happy because this is my first translated novel ever. And this is a Japanese novel that has been translated by Philip Gabriel. It was a very beautiful experience. It was very beautiful writing and just the world, the magic, the fantasy, just so beautiful. And I absolutely loved it. The thing about this book that will get to me over and over and over again, and I know will get to me again when I reread this book, in the future is that all seven of these kids just want to be normal and they just want to fit in and be accepted and loved. This story was such a beautiful representation of adolescent struggles and difficulties and friendships. The magic of connection and feeling like you've been heard this author delivered on all those themes on all those topics and i loved it i loved it the way this book has been planned executed and then finally wrapped up blew my mind those last 50 pages the amount of revelations we had the amount of things that made sense and that i should have seen from the very beginning like Am I dumb? I'm probably dumb. I mean, I know that I get very carried away in stories and I don't quite focus on the details sometimes until they're brought up again. So those last 50 pages and then that ending, I, I was tearing up. I can't lie. I was tearing up and I really wished yesterday when I was finishing this book that I had had the chance to read this book a couple years ago when I was going through my own adolescent, high school, middle school troubles. I was staring up when I read that epilogue. That epilogue was so beautiful and so satisfying. And guys, I highly recommend this book. I highly recommend it. And all I'm gonna say is just trust where the story takes you. Just dive right in and you will be rewarded. <laughs> I was very, very, very happy with this book and the concepts and the execution and just, yeah. I'm just very happy and satisfied in life right now. And I think I'm gonna go and carry this energy with me for the rest of the day. But yeah yeah if you like content like this then i would say subscribe and join the family because that is what we do here click that like button comment down below if you've read this book if you want to read this book what you have been reading recently and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my posts and subscribe like i said i love you all so so much thank you for watching thank you for clicking thank you for caring about me and my videos i will see you very soon in my next video stay safe stay healthy stay happy love you bye